Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now answering question number 21 from the specimen paper of the Cambridge 0580 paper 2 non calculator 2025. New syllabus here. And here we have a question which is um, const about constructing equations from like word problems. And we're told in this question all measurements are in centimeters. They've given us a diagram. We have a triangle and a rectangle. It says the height of the triangle is h and the height of the rectangle is h plus 2. The length of the base of the triangle is x and the length of the rectangle is x plus 1. All of those are shown in the diagram. It says the area of the triangle is 11 centimeters squared. And the area of the rectangle is 39 centimeters squared. Write down an expression in terms of x for the height of the rectangle. Okay, so for the height of the rectangle in terms of x. So we can see here that the area of a rectangle is basically the length times the width, right? This is the length, this is the width. So we can say x plus 1 multiplied by h plus 2 is equal to the area they told us is 39. Um, so in terms of x length area and area okay good so to find okay so basically to find h what we can do is we can divide both sides by x plus one so we have h plus two equals 39 whoops i said 39 and i wrote 99 39 over x plus 1. And then we can say h is equal to 39. What am I doing? 39 over x plus 1. And then take away 2. It's just one mark. That's I think we have to do there. 39 over x minus 1. Take away 2. Over x plus 1, sorry. Take away 2. Right, so 39 over x plus 1 take away 2. That is an expression in terms of x for the height of the rectangle. Okay, so there's part A done, just one mark. Then it says show that 2x squared minus 5x plus 22 is equal to 0. So basically, we have to try to um, link this together, basically. Um, let's have a look. So we can say h is equal to 39 over x plus 1 minus 2. Um, and we can use this in this equation, I guess, because we can replace the h, because the h and these two are the same. So if I replace the h in this equation with 39 over x plus 1 minus 2, uh, we can then find um, an expression. So let's do that. Let's take 39 over x plus 1 minus 2 and replace this h with that. So I'm going to replace this h here, because the h's are the same with all of this okay in the formula for the area of the triangle so i know that the area of a triangle the area of a triangle is equal to a half times a base times a height in this case our base is equal to x and our height is equal to h right so we can say that a half times x times h is equal to for the for the rectangle for the triangle it was 11 so i know that h is equal to 39 over x plus 1 minus 2 so i have a half times 39 over x plus 1 minus 2 times uh, sorry half times x times that A half times x times that is going to be equal to 11. So now what I can do is I can multiply. Well, let, let's multiply both sides by 2. So I'll have x. I'll have 39x over x plus 1 minus 2x is equal to 2 times 11, which is 22. Now what I can do is I can multiply both sides by x plus 1. Okay. So if I multiply both sides by x plus 1. In fact, what I can do make it a bit simpler. 39 over x over x plus 1 is equal to 2x plus 22. Multiply both sides by x plus 1. I have 39x 
equals 2x plus 22 times x plus 1. And now we can expand this bracket. So we have 39x equals, that's going to be 2x squared plus 2x plus 22x plus 22. It's looking kind of good. You've got a 2x squared and a 22 there. Hopefully this will work out. So 39x equals 2x squared plus 24x plus 22. So we can now subtract 39x from both sides. So we've got 24 minus 39. So I'll do it this way first, and the answer is going to be negative. It's going to be 5 and 1, 15. That's right. So this will be 2x squared minus 15x plus 22 equals 0. Okay, so let's just move this out of the way a bit. So we have now got what we have to show. 2x squared minus 15x plus 22 is equal to, or it's going to be, yeah, plus 22 is equal to 0. And there we have shown what we have to show. We have to put our steps down very clearly. So what we did was we took the expression, the kind of part A helps us really with part B. So we found that what H is in terms of X from the rectangle. And we replaced that H um, with what it is in terms of X in the area of the triangle. And we ended up with exactly what we had to show. So that, that's part A and B done of this question. Now part C is a part of the syllabus which in the past students were able to bluff their way through it um, you know without um, actually knowing how to factorize they would put this in the in the calculator in equation mode and they would find the solutions and they would write everything backwards and pretend that they had actually work the other way and the examiner would be none the wiser and you'd get the full marks but now we have the non-calculator paper that is no longer possible you're not allowed to take a calculator with you inside the exam so there is no escape now at all from having to be able to factorize no escape at all so you must know how to factorize so we got to solve this 2x squared minus 15x plus 22 equals 0 now here we could use the quadratic formula. We could use um, completing the square to solve any quadratic equation. But the question here very clearly states by factorizing. Okay, so you must factorize here. All right, so please make sure you read the question because some people might prefer to complete the square. Some of you might prefer to use a quadratic formula. Okay, those who don't like factorizing. But when you have a question and it says by factorizing of course you have to factorize otherwise you'll lose marks so we need to factorize this expression first on this side before we factorize we must make sure it says equals zero which it does and then we just factorize as normal now I have my own little way of factorizing which I'm going to show you and then I'll show you the traditional way that people do if it's a type of uh, expression like this where you have a number in front of the x squared and you don't want to go commando style and just like do guess and check then we're going to split the middle term now i have my little window method of splitting the middle term which some of you might not be used to but i'm just going to go through that first for the especially for the students that i do teach okay um and who prefer this method maybe so what i do is i write down in the top left and the bottom right corner the first term here and the last term there the x squared and the constant terms so i write 2x squared here i write 22 here and then I multiply them together, these two, that gives me 44x squared. Now I know that the numbers in these two positions, they must multiply to give me the same product. So these must multiply to give me 44, but they're, so positive 44, they both have the same sign, but their sum must be negative 15. When I add them together, I have to get negative 15x. So the sum of those two terms must be negative 15x. So I know they both must be negative numbers because when you multiply them, you get a positive number. When you add them, you get a negative number. And it's pretty obvious now, I can see it's going to be 11 and 4. 11 and 4 are the two numbers because 11 times 4 is 44 and 11, if you add 4 to it, I get 15. So minus 11 and minus 4. So I'm going to put minus 11x here or minus 11. It doesn't matter where I put them, I can put anywhere. 11, minus 11x and minus 4x. Now I'm going to look at these two terms and I'm going to write out their common factor out here which is going to be 2x and I know up here 
2x times something gives me 2x squared. That must be an x. And 2x times something gives me minus 4x. Well, that must be minus 2. And x times this gives me minus 11x. Well, that must be minus 11. And I factorize. I have 2x minus 11 times 2x, sorry, times x minus 2. So the two factors are here. These are another two factors, just to make it clear. Um, these are the factors. 2x minus 11 times x minus 2 gives me all of this. So that's basically 2x minus 11 times x minus 2 equals 0. So I have either 2x minus 11 is equal to 0 or x minus 2 is equal to 0. So this gives you x equals 11 over 2, which is 5.5 centimeters or x equals 2 centimeters. Okay, so now when we look at this, okay, um, it says find the two possible heights of the triangle. So x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 5.5. Both of them are possible, but I know that the height is 39 of x plus 1 minus 2. So this is not h. h is equal to 39 over x plus 1 minus 2. That's what h is as we we deduce there. So to get the full marks of the question, you have to replace the x in this with 2. So you're going to say when x equals 2 centimeters, h is going to be 39 over 2 plus 1, which is 3 minus 2. That's going to be 13 minus 2, which is 11. That's one possible okay, uh, value. And x equals 5.5. So you have h equals 39 over, you're going to have 6.5 minus 2. Okay, so what's 39 divided by 6.5? Well, if you want to do, do this as a fraction, that's going to be 39 divided by 6.5, which is 39 divided by, that's 13 over 2. So it's 39 times 2 over 13. They cancel out. You're left with 3 here and 1 here, so you're going to get 3 times 2, which is 6. So this part is going to be 6, right? So you have h equals 6 minus 2. 6 minus 2 is 4. So you have h equals 11 centimeters or 4 centimeters. Over here, we're just working out 13 over 6.5. And then you've got to take away 2 from that. So you get 4. And that concludes this question. Um, now, I'm going to go over the other method of factorizing this expression, seeing as maybe some people are not too, um, maybe they don't understand this method very well, which I explained to my students. So. We're gonna, I'm just going to factorize 2x squared minus 15x plus 22. In the traditional method, for those of you who've learned that and want to stick to that, that's fine. So the normal way of doing this that most people would do, they'd multiply these two together. That gives you 44. So we're looking for a product of positive 44. And they would find two numbers that multiply also, or that add together to give you this number, which is negative 15. So as we deduced before, it's negative 11 and negative 4. Multiply them together, you get positive 44. You add them, you get negative 15. So this middle term then can split up into those two, ter two um, numbers. So you have 2x squared. What's better to put with the 2? A 4, so I, get, I guess it's better to put minus 4x, although it really doesn't make a difference in the end. And minus 11x, and that kind of goes with 22. That's good. So now we can take the common factor from these two terms, which is 2 and x. So you have x minus 2 in this bracket. Then you write the sign down that comes next. And you look for a common factor in these two. Well, 11 is a common factor. And you have x and in minus 11 times minus 2 gives us positive 22. Now we see the common factor in these two terms here. The common factor in these two terms are x minus 2. Sometimes a bracket can be a common factor. So then this will give us x minus 2 as common. And then 2x minus 11. So you're left with... 2x minus 11 times x minus 2, exactly the same that we got before. And then you can continue on and solve it as we did before. So there's just a little side point for those of you who um, want to stick to this method. That's fine. And this is basically the same thing, but just a bit more visual. So that concludes this question um, on um, constructing equations and quadratic equations. If you would like to... Um, um, if you would like to watch the other questions from this particular specimen paper you can find the rest of them in this um, link over here the link here will take you to the playlist which in which has all the questions about constructing equations from um, this syllabus and there will be a playlist here which will be about solving quadratic equations 
and I'll put the same video in there because there's you know that factorizing section and you'll also have here a playlist which will have constructing equations from the old syllabus um, yeah so that's basically it thank you for watching and see you soon